This is what happens after a narcissist hurts you. It's not an apology. Here we go again, exploring and exposing the world of narcissists. Our topic today is the various ways in which narcissists attempt to compensate for their deficiencies. While every narcissist is unique, there is a common thread to their behavior. Narcissists just want one thing from a partner, to be the spotlight. They'll turn any situation to their own benefit. However, the partners they seek to exploit are not uniform among narcissists. That is to say, the only reliable factor is supplies. A narcissist may have several relationships happening at once, all of which serve different purposes for them. Nothing is unattainable for them, not even riches and affluence and social prominence. Narcissists often have multiple love partners at once in order to satiate their craving for attention. The supply from one of these sources is negative, the supply from the other is no, and the supply from the third is exceedingly potent and new. Narcissists, in the end, don't care about criticism or lack of resources. They'll indulge to their heart's content with a fresh supply until it depletes below in the food chain. Apologizing, though, is the last thing they would want to do whenever they make a mistake. To make up means to reconcile with someone or to cease an argument. Because narcissists enjoy causing difficulties and hurting people, this happens frequently in conversations with them. They don't want to own up to their wrongdoing for fear of the consequences, therefore they don't. As a result, you can very much count on them never apologizing to you. Instead of getting to the bottom of things, they'd rather come up with elaborate solutions. In this video, I'll discuss three of these strategies because a narcissist typically prefers them to avoid being reminded of a mistake they've committed. The first step is to ensure that nobody ever finds out about their success. They'd rather you didn't think about it or bring it up again. What I mean is that narcissists will always deny the existence of whatever flaws or weaknesses they may have. They don't want you to bring this up at dinner. They'll think you're looking out for both of your interests if you act as if the incident never happened. Narcissists rely on a few key factors to ensure that their makeup or reconciliation session goes as planned. They change the subject and divert attention to something else of equal or greater importance, or, failing that, they offer you time to consider the matter at hand, which takes me to my next point. Second, one of their standard procedures involves extending your deadline. If you want to influence people, this is the way to do it. A narcissist who has insulted you may retreat from you, rather than apologize or deal with the problem. It could seem strange to bring up an old issue when you run into them again after they've ceased communicating with you or avoided you for a while. That's why they'll greet you with a gift and a smile, as if nothing ever came between you. The narcissist's goal is to get you to follow their lead and give in to their seduction attempts once more. Most importantly, you need to be ready to move on with the relationship as if nothing bad had happened, or to try again, or putting the past in the past. The existence of narcissists is not a recent observation. As a result, the harmful cycle restarts. Still, many are led astray by false promises of a fresh start and a better future. In reality, it's not. If you persist in criticizing the narcissist's actions, they may accuse you of being negative and rooted in the past. They try to convince you that rehashing old wounds isn't productive. Thus, it is now imperative to forget the past and focus on the here and now. When discussing narcissists, I often argue that they follow two separate sets of guidelines. When they screw up, they never admit it or take responsibility for it. If you were at blame, on the other hand, they would be happy to argue about it for hours, make you feel terrible until you broke down and force you to make amends in any number of ways. Therefore, we can't put up with their dishonesty. A person shouldn't be able to play by two different sets of relationship norms at the same time. Let's talk about time again, though. Narcissists believe that if they give you enough time, you will forget about the past and move on without holding them accountable. A narcissist may listen to what you say and give the impression of agreement if they want to stop the conversation quickly. They seem attentive and interested in what you have to say just to make you feel better about yourself. A narcissist may nod as if they agree to accept responsibility to make you feel better, but they will never actually do so. Narcissists believe they are immune to any kind of negative feedback. 
the narcissists would like you to think they have taken responsibility when in fact they have done nothing of the like. Also, they may provide an abstract apology without specifying for what they are sorry. They often use the words, whatever it is I've done wrong, I'm sorry, etc. as a catchphrase. They put on a reasonable front but aren't willing to shoulder any blame. Third, narcissists like to use seduction to restore order, probably because it is the least effort and most pleasure for them. Narcissists often think that engaging in sexual activity will solve their problems more quickly than talking about them. When things are at their worst, they will throw their arms around you and treat you like you're priceless. One thing I can say is that they are masters at it. Narcissists use intimacy to make you feel guilty about leaving them or forget about the hurt they've inflicted. Sexual involvement with them, no matter how close they seem on the surface, would only weaken and pollute your spirit. Narcissists, both male and female, frequently use the power of proximity to persuade their victims of their caring for and desire to be close to them. However, this is just a distraction from the main issue. Each time, the narcissist skirts around the issue of where they fall short. They want to make up and kiss rather than talk about their issues. They will keep using it so long as it serves its purpose. They think the problem can be solved by talking about it in broad terms and making empty pledges to improve. Narcissists have a hard time apologizing because they feel they are above doing so. The only way to make up with a narcissist is to act as if you've never done anything wrong before and never will. Therefore, we have come to use the truth to disprove their claims. If you have any other comments, please leave them below. Feel free to comment on today's video and share your ideas. As always, thank you for reading. If you like this video and want to see more like it in the future, please subscribe to our channel and hit the bell button. I appreciate your reading this and thinking about it.